Hey everybody, my name is Flobisher and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Um, it looks I'm starting off here because um, I accidentally walked a step forward towards the uh, mining facility. And well, as cutscene has started and I could have pressed reset but then I remembered I haven't saved in a while. So um, yeah, enjoy the cutscene I guess. <laughs> Let's go. I'm sure there's nothing bad in there. I mean it's I mean it's a mining facility, it should be like it should be on the control, right? Right? Maybe not. Oh, oh, what are you? Oh god! Aracha! This larval monster is said to live for a thousand years, during which time it is continually growing. Though the lava is small in size, it is quite ferocious and is often found in swarms beneath the sand. It tends to leap toward moving objects such as yourself. Oh god. So, um, they're gonna be growing? Yeah, they're not like that. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, give me that. Um, yeah, I guess let's start off with throwing bombs in, in there. See what it opens up. Wow. Yeah, that's what I needed. One entire rupee. God, do I feel rich. Well, luckily we get a free one right here. Throw this one in there. Oh. oh, six whoopies. Damn. Look at Mr. Witch Guy over here. Uh, I should also, like, um, equip my shield again. Yeah. There's one over there. Let me just move a little bit back because I'm just gonna grab that bomb that's on the pillow over there. And then let's just, um, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, that's a heart. I actually don't need it right now. Oh, that's something new. That's not something I can say uh, every time I play this game. Alright, with them gone, I can just easily move around a bit more. I do see there another basket that I can throw a bomb in. With a switch. Yes. A blue whoopee. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, let's see, there's actually more on something on the other side. No, there isn't. Alright. So... Alright, let's put this like, kill them. Oh, they give... Jelly blobs? Huh. Really? Jelly blobs? They don't really look like slime creatures or anything, so... But, alright. No, no, stay on it. Oh, that actually opens the way forward, I believe. Alright, oh, let's see in the notes. This dungeon isn't really anything special. I'm guessing that this switch uh, will turn the... Um, will open that gate over there. So let's just do that. I do want to get the treasure chest. <laughs> Barely even made it. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, there we go. God, I'm a fucking... Uh, fucking... 
what's the word? Clairvoyant, god damn it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, have a little bit of rescue. Have a little bit of rescue. You, you earned it. I believe I have even more stamina than you. Am I broken? That's that right? Yes, I remember correctly. And the blue will be. Right, earning some money back. Cool. Alright. Moving on. There he is. Oh, you guys. Alright. Damn it. Back. Oh shit, oh shit, fuck. Oh, oh crap. Okay, alright, alright. Nope, oh, guys. Guys. Hello? You know I'm still here, right? There we go. That was a bit odd. Like, they just started ignoring me for no reason. Damn. No, why did you slip? That was definitely a sideways slash I did, but... Oh, now you did a fucking thing, please. Work with me here, please. There you go, thank you, Link. Two red rupees. I'm earning my money back very quickly. Uh, let's get a review. Uh, let's see, I don't believe I can do anything about that yet. Let's just leave that. Um, that part is closed. That's the way I came in, and that needs a key. Alright, that only allows this thing to exist. If I wait forward. Can I move this? Yes, I can. And that allows me to go up there. Alright. Don't know why there's like three boxes here for that. Maybe one of them hides something, like a um, picking spot. Come on. What? Link, what? To move backwards there, I had to move my joystick up. What? And like after one pull, he, I had to like change it to pulling left? <laughs> what? Alright, that doesn't make any sense, but cool I guess. Uh, but no taking spots. Alright. So, let's just head in here then. Let's see, alright, there is like a safe point here. Some bombs. Um. Oh, not, no, not you again. No, get away from me. Back, back, back. Get away from me. Uh, let's see. Right, I probably need to blow that up with a bomb. Oh, that's, I should have probably done that with crates over there. Yeah, that most of probably would have given me like 5 rupees, so... Ah, it's fine. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Way forward. Climbing up the ladder. Oh, so please. Please give me a monster ball. Please give me... Yeah, uh, both hearts. Alright, cool. Uh, some seeds. Again, don't really use that, but thanks anyway. And it's a 
small key. Oh, I actually know where to use that. Uh, what's up here? Please think. A box. Oh, wait. So now we just need to back that. All right, Link. I didn't know you were suicidal. Let's just head back, like I said, and use the small key. Up until now, this dungeon isn't really anything special. Not too complicated, but maybe that's gonna change because. There are definitely going to be time shift stones here. <laughs> and that's going to make things a lot more confusing. Oh look, a big room. Yep, here comes the confusing part. What are you? Let's see. Alright, I'm, like, I'm guessing going your way. Target lock. Bro, though this odd creature is cowardly by nature, it will expose an array of densely packed defensive spines when approached or provoked. You have to feel the fear of this enemy. Alright. Do I hit it? No, I do not hit it. Alright, cool. Um, do I then hit it with. No, nope, not the pick, not the bug net. Oh. Oh, I see. All right, interesting. Oh no, no, let go. Let. You know they're not as bad as like sculptures. Thank God. It's weird. Like it's only spiders that I'm really scared of. I guess I just have a arachnophobia, so I guess it makes sense. Now those, those like mini scorpions don't really do it for me. No. Uh, let's use the beetle and then just turn around. I don't even see anything up there. Oh, a switch. All right. Yeah. Now what does that switch on? <laughs> Please think, there's a ladder. We don't have to parkour everything. Ah, there's the times of stone. Ah. I probably want to turn that on, yeah. Send the beetle again. It's a very useful tool, I must say. I wish there was like a little boost to it though. Maybe that's not great. Uh oh. Um, alright. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Now it looks like funky, like all electrical. Uh, what are you? A Beemos! Oh, alright. This is an ancient security mechanism. Its weak point is its eye. The eye is also a weapon that fires focused energy beam. I calculate a 100% failure rate at any attempt to strike the eye with your sword, while it is still on top of the pedestal. I, I recommend using a weapon that can strike at high targets. Conversely, you could lower its head to height. Your sword can reach. Yeah, I can already tell that I need to like do a sideways strike. And then a jab. Yeah. Alright. So yeah, they fire laser beam from their eyes. And I think this is like one of the few Legend of Zelda games where um, you can actually kill them. 
There are definitely games where you cannot kill them, and that's way more scary, really. Uh, but otherwise, yes. Yeah, no. Yes? Hmm. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> Alright, um, let me have a good look around here actually. Alright, some boxes. I don't know with what, but they're here. No, oh fuck you. Uh, let's see, what's like the deal here? Uh, I cannot go in there, that there's a bunch of lasers. Uh, there they like the uh, the past ends. Yes. So yeah, I guess I have to make it just to the other side without falling off. I think. All right. So let's just start from here and one. Uh-huh. 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 So I think the game wants me to do this. Why don't we just have to avoid this? Yes. Alright. That was not that difficult. Nice. Alright, let's climb up here. And oh, back. Oh, swing. And stab. And then uh, that's closed. Uh, Alright, okay. Yeah, yes. Then let's move this way. Oh, that looks very nice. So interesting. Like... I don't think it's odd how, like... In ancient times, like... People were more modernly advanced. Or technologically advanced, like... I, I, um, I mean... But it is an interesting, interesting concept of, like, lost technology. No, 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 goodbye, something that, like, has been done before, definitely, I mean, Assassin's Creed is like a prime example of that, and I think even before that it has been done, uh, what did that open again, oh right, like, somewhere over there, Yeah, there it is. Oh, I didn't see any other way to go, so let's just keep moving. Um, some barrels over there. I'm guessing I do want to stick. Oh. I want to say that I want to stick like to the upper path, but I guess that's not an option. Yeah, some not, some, some of that. Oh, I think I see what I need to do. Alright, alright. That's flip, alright. I see what I need to do if I do it, could do it correctly. Well, come on, return to normal. Return to normal. How long does it take for you to return to normal? normal? There you go. Yes. Alright, that's actually a very interesting concept too. I cannot do anything with that. Uh, did, did you respawn? Nice. Thank you for responding, I do appreciate it.
I don't have to. Alright, cool. That's a very bad... <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's a very bad, like, self-defense system if you, like, just kill yourself. It's just, like... Damn, it's not even... Like, if you touch anything in that state, or just... You explode, like, how do you live? I feel sorry for you. And now I just want to explode that. So hey, um... No? Ah, uh, that doesn't work like that, alright. Back. Uh, maybe I can just time the bomb right. That could also work. No, blink. Blink, leather, please. Oh, that works. Nice. Thank you, dude. Much appreciate. Oh. Never mind, you died for nothing. Well, sorry I killed your brother for nothing. I hope you're not mad. I don't know if that's like your mad face or that just how you look, but I'm just gonna leave you alone. You know, do some mourning. Uh, I don't know if I should have jumped. Jump down here. <laughs> Alright, get rid of you guys. And we do need to find like a point to end this episode actually. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I should have jumped down. Or maybe I do? I honestly do not know. I'm not like Jelly Blob. Honestly, I was hoping for like. Uh, I did see a trust chest over there, but it's locked off. Yeah, I need to go back up. Back. <laughs> uh, is it that ty type of deal, like, that the side of the spikes hurt you? Oh, that sucks. That's like a video game trope that I really hate. Most uh, no notably, I think, like Mega Man, where you just touch the side of a spike with your feet, then you just explode. Oh, that sucks so much. Never played Mega Man, but like... Ugh. <laughs> I mean, really, though. Fuck you, guys. Oh, that did not explode me. Come on, get back to normal. Might move a bit more to the right. Yes. There we go. That opens up another way. Uh, let's get the... No, jump down. Thank you. Let's grab this plastic chest. We got a golden skull. Alright. Haven't got many of those. Also, don't really have need for them yet, so... Oh, I'm getting a lot of jelly bobs. Jelly blobs here. Which, I guess that's a good thing. Uh, let's just finish this room real quick. Alright, what do you have up here? Another treasure chest. We have the Ghost Bellows. It is an ancient and mystical device capable of blowing an endless gust of wind. If you feel the controls are out of al alignment, when you use... Yeah, blah blah blah. Yes, the dungeon item of this. Oh. Oh, you're on your back. Oh, you're like a turtle. With the... Oh. With this... You can blow these sand balls away. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We can clean this place up. We can pop... Dust. And just find more secrets and buttons and all kinds of good stuff. And enemies. And I would say that's a good point to end this episode. In the next, we're gonna make some good use of this cast bellow. And 
move on with the dungeon. See you guys then. Goodbye.